Hello everybody, Fishlord here, and I'm back for episode 22 of the Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke. Now, in the last episode, we did have someone die, so I'm gonna have to drop him off in the PC right now, so if you didn't go watch it, go back, watch it, there's a link to the description of the playlist, uh, <laughs> there's a link to the description of the playlist, no, there is a link to the playlist in the description, so go check out that, but I have to sadly deposit someone at the very start of the, um, episode, which is kind of a shame, because, yeah, I really liked Grovile, and sadly he's gone. Sorry if you didn't watch it, I forgot to say spoilers, but, yeah. But anyways, in this gym, let's not get that down, Swiper fought for us many times, and he wanted us to keep on going, he kept us through some of the hardest situations, so in this situation, let's just keep pulling through. It's what the thing that he would want us to do. <laughs> Anyways, give me my fresh water, Gramps. <laughs> anyway, so I got my fresh water. The whole point um, in this one, in this episode, my main goal is to just simply take down the gym leader. And now what's the point of this gym? I haven't played Black in a Oh, I get launched. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. You get launched this way, then I have to go back around. That's actually really cool, I like that. I have to go back around, and they get launched over to the right now. And now I have to fight this person. But now, uh, I didn't give a team recap this one, because I feel like it's not really needed. Just, you should have gone watch the other one. Anyways, because it was a sad moment. And, um, do I want to send out Reed first? I'm going to actually swap. My team is a little bit low level, which is kind of sad. But... Compared, I didn't want to grind in between episodes because I don't know what level these guys are. What do you think about the canyon? Uh, the cannons? Isn't it great that you can experience how flying Pokemon feel? Next, experience the feeling of losing a Pokemon battle! Um, I don't think I'm going to lose because I don't really want to lose. Lazy Pansy. Luxio. Okay, well, um, in this sense, I probably should have stayed out with the, um, with Reed. But I don't really. I. I mean, Reed's not really great on attacking anyway, so maybe it was for the best that I didn't do it. But how much is that? That's gonna do a decent amount. Clear Smog's barely gonna do anything, I think. Yeah, barely anything. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Sacred Sword to see how much damage it does. But from now on, I'm gonna say if my health gets below 50%. I will heal up the Pokemon or I will swap them out because from now on I'm not having someone else on the team die because I'm like oh maybe I should have swapped out because he might have a good move I'm not doing that anymore so I am saying right now you have permission to scream me in the comments if I ever simply um, keep a Pokemon in as less than 50% health because I just don't want anyone else to die I, I like my team as is right now and I didn't send in the other Pokemon because I don't really like him. Uh, I, I, he's not a terrific Pokemon, the other guy. So I was like, eh, I don't really need him. He's not really necessary. I already have a water type Pokemon. I don't really need him. Palpitoad. I'm going to use him eventually, like Fudge. Don't worry, your Pokemon will probably show up in this Let's Play sometime. I just, right now, I'd rather see what Pokemon I get next. And then if I get... A worse Pokemon, I would um, send out him because I do need, a, in my opinion, a six member. But, um, Muddy Water, that's not gonna do much. Even if you did hit, it wouldn't have done much. And there's the defense drop. I'm going to, um, I could go for, I should have gone for the Ice Burn, but that's, a, again, that's a two turn move. I don't know what moves he has, so I don't really feel like risking it right now in order to just simply get a super effective move off. So, Anyways, the first trainer is down now, and Emerald Cat leveled up to level 34 in the plus 3 attack. That's great. Defense Curl. Um, hmm, what moves do you have? I just want to see. I kind of like the moves as is. I'm not going to replace it because who knows? One, t I might actually use Defense Curl one time, and I, if I use an attacking move, I might actually kill the opponent. So I don't know. I'd rather. I have more of an attacking style when I play. I don't know what that guy is doing right there. He's just sitting there. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to come back around. That's the reason why I was just waiting there. Mm. Hello there, police officer. I became a pilot, which has been my dream since I was a child. I'm extremely strong. Bring it on! Sorry for headphone users, sorry. I get a little carried away. <laughs> but, I'm challenged by Bonatist Mike. Since that's Ruby. Alright, well, you know, it's not great, a uh, great Pokemon for you. It's actually kind of bad. And I Bug Buzz, so that's going to be a super effective move. Don't know how much damage that do. I'm guessing about half. Or double it, you know. I forgot that um, Shurubi doesn't have any stats, really. So, hey, there's Venusaur's coming out. So, I'm going to go for Bug Buzz again. Heavy Slam. That's going to do a lot of damage. No, it didn't. Never mind. What am I talking about? What move am I thinking about, man? I think I'm thinking about a steel type move that uh, the heavier the opponent is compared to. Like, if Venusaur's a heavy mon, so it's heavy slam. Sorry. Heavy slam. That's what I'm thinking of. That's the move where the heavier you are, like an, on an Aggron, Aggron's one of my favorite Pokemon, if you didn't know. So, I like to just look up good movesets for him. And one of my favorite moves on him is Heavy Slam, because if you get a Pokemon that's a lot lighter than you, you can just rip him to pieces with it. Ice Ball. Um, I did say the next move I want to get. I want to get rid of um, Close Combat. These are continuously rolls into the target over five turns. I don't like that. It's like roll out, but I don't like it. Uh, should place. No, I'm gonna keep all moves because I don't like the fact that you get locked in. Locking in, in my opinion, is not the best thing. Altitude is dropping slowly. I prepare for landing. Oh, altitude, sorry. Altitude is dropping slowly. But I am going to heal up right now just because I don't want anyone else to die. Because I've gone through too many burials in my Pokemon lately. That, you know, it's getting kind of depressing. I, I just waste. I did not mean to do that. That was really annoying. Wow. Anyways, where am I going to land for this one? I'm going to land right here. So, where was I supposed to go? Because that was a complete loop. In order to jump higher, I am practicing really hard to jump higher. But we're in a flying type gym. Why not just say in order to fly, I am trying really hard. Or something else like that. You're going, in order to jump high. I don't know. Who do I have against him right now? Chincho? Emerald Cat? I think I'm gonna go on to Emerald Cat, because that's. I mean, right now, Tsunami. Eh, the Thunderbolt on it is not terrific. And yeah. I'm gonna go for the Crush Claw, though, again, because. It's a powerful move, and. Yeah, just one shot it, so. That's a good reason why I went for it. And next is Axu. I'm going to actually stay in. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay in right now with the Axu. I might go for the Ice Burn. Bonamarang, that's not going to do a tremendous amount. Don't hit five times. You hit twice, good. Um, that's actually, I'm actually really worried now because if he uses it again, or a more powerful move, Heart Snap. Thank you. Thank you, Axu. Thank you for having a heart and not using Bonamarang again. Never mind, I don't like you because you made me flinch. So, now you're gonna die. Really badly. Now, who should I send out in return? I could have, I'm gonna send out Skyplant. Just use Roar Time and try and get this Axu off the face of the earth because it tried to hurt my Emerald Cat. I don't like that. That's not very nice of it. it it's not good manners, and yeah. I always did like how I had a little scarf though. Dragon types are one of my favorite types, as well as. I'm gonna go for the double hit first though, just to see how much defense he has, because if he has high defense, no he doesn't actually. The Roar Time should KO him now, because it'll be super effective, and he doesn't have great stats as is, so that should KO him. Right? Please tell me I'm not wrong, or else I'm going to literally cry. Please? Please? Tell me that will KO? Yes, okay, definitely. Because Roar Time is not that powerful of a move, like it's... It's eh. No problem, even though I lost, I will just prepare and jump again. Well, you really like jumping, apparently. Well, um, 
Where am I supposed to go now? That's my question. Because it sent me back here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Because this sent me right here. Okay, um... Oh, I see. No, I, I stopped that. I don't like that. Stop it. I need to actually go heal up because I said that if a Pokemon was less than 50%, I would heal them up. And yeah, Emerald Cat is not. So, I'm already gonna have a problem with this little oath I've taken. Because it's just not like me. I don't really use hyper potions a lot. I actually probably should have bought more, but again, I don't want to have it super easy. But this is the way I was supposed to go. But I didn't know that. And now I'm gonna get sent over to the right. The cannon's gonna send me. Oh. Oh! It didn't literally send me anywhere. That's kind of annoying. Dogger locked acquired. I will shoot you down with my flight technique. Except for the fact that we're not in the air. So you're not going to be able to shoot me down. You're going to be able to shoot me to pieces if you want to do that, which I highly don't recommend because I don't want to get killed. Please. Kecleon. All right, well, I have Sacred Sword and Close Combat, so I could just use both. But I don't really want to use Close Combat because it's not it's not a good move as is. Facade. That shouldn't do too much, yeah. And that does no damage. I'm really happy I didn't go for close combat right now because that would have definitely not. Uh oh. No, that, that didn't do anything. The defense drop though. I'm gonna be a little worried about now. I I'm gonna go for another sacred sword. Fuck. Okay, so don't send out a grass type. You still not have health, and he's showing three of his moves. I'm not. I'm gonna keep going. I don't feel like he's going to have a. Yeah, I, was just gonna, I don't think he has a super good move up his sleeve, and if he did, I didn't even think he would be able to do much with the move. But, so the Kecleon's down. Sleepy gained a lot of experience from it. I didn't know that Kecleon's were good experience. What? I missed the target? Well, again, we're not flying yet. You can't really hit me when I'm not flying. I mean, I am going to send out right now, since... Sleepy is level 34. I'm gonna swap with Tsunami because Tsunami is gonna need a couple more levels. I'm I'm not ranking up Skyplan at all right now because it's just it's not that um, great of a Pokemon. And I hate to say it, but it, it I I probably won't use it. My plans are perfectly honed. I cannot lose. Uh, you're playing with fate right now, but you're literally saying I can't lose. But then fate will just come by and say, Nah. Dude, you're gonna lose. And a Grottle. I'm happy I actually have Tsunami out because Steamroller should do a lot of damage to this thing. That's one thing I don't like about Tsunami though. Its health is not tremendously high. Compared to everyone else on my team, they have a lot higher health. And they do. Like, but they're not as powerful though. So I guess that kind of evens out. Like, Licky Licky though. Had a lot of health. No defenses. But had absurd special attack but just couldn't take a hit at all and that's actually what literally killed it all right well i'm going this way now launch me through another ring and launch me through another ring this is going to be the one to go to the gym leader oh i fate oh uh wait i didn't mean to go into that okay whatever anyways right now my question is I kind of want to go heal up at the gym leader, or not gym leader, the Pokemon Center, and then come back because, yeah, I don't want, I don't want anyone to run out of PP, and if they did, that would be a huge problem on my part because, yeah, they, it would just simply, it would cause a lot of problems, and then they'd be sitting duck. And if someone has Arena Trap, like a um. Nin Ninkata. Ninkata apparently has Arena Trap as the ability. It will, um, it will do a lot. It will do a lot of damage to the person because he doesn't have any PP. I actually, at one point, I sent out Chimeco against a Ninkata during grinding, and it knows Recover at the same time. So, it has Arena Trap and Recover. And it just simply sits there and goes, hey, want to hit me? And I hit him, and he goes, okay, I'm going to Recover. And it all, since Chanko isn't that much of an attacker, it would do like not even a quarter of the damage. And then it would just recover. And it would just use all these other moves like the um, 
gear grind, I think it was. And it was just like, yeah, I, I just want to play pranks with you right now. I'm just going to fool around with you, play with you. I had to go into a struggle with it. Like, I didn't struggle, but the opponent did because, yeah, it, it wouldn't use any other moves. And I'm sitting here like, this is the most boring thing in my life. But, yeah. So, I'm kind of wondering right now how easy or hard this gym is going to be. Because I don't, I get the feeling it's not going to be tremendously easy. I get the feeling it's going to be really hard. I just hope I don't lose another Pokemon to it. Because that would make me cry so hard. Because I've already lost three Pokemon now. In the last episodes, I kind of want a little bit of gap between the episodes. Just so that, you know, it's not as emotional. I don't have to keep grinding up people. Every single time I lose someone else, I have to put someone else on the team. And then they're lower. Then they're a lower, a lower level than everyone else, so I have to grind them up. And yeah, it's just a lot of it's a lot more time involved. So, and it's emotional, like because I'm attached to them. Anyways, I'm gonna say beforehand because I don't want anything bad to happen. Because uh, I think one time I this I wasn't recording this, but I was playing a randomized lock, and I was versing the gym leader, and I think my power ran out. So, at least right now, if... I didn't read all... I didn't read any of that. Oops, sorry. Fish versus Jill! But once my power went out, and then I lost all my progress. And I, I versed, like, two gym leaders, so... Never again. Another Volbeat. Volbeat's actually apparently, like, really common Pokemon. It's a bug Pokemon. I do have Chimeco. I kind of just want to stay out, though, and use Stomp. See how much damage that, that does. But, wait. It's level 33. That actually might be a little bit of a problem. When I, when, I think, when I think about a match with a fabulous trainer like you, it's like I'm walking on air. Well, thank you. I guess that's an accomplishment. I don't really know. And you're just going to keep using Sky Drop. This is the second gym now where I've had a Pokemon that just keeps using Sky Drop, Sky Drop, Sky Drop. And it gets... Oh, but it doesn't affect him. Why doesn't it affect him? I mean, why doesn't... Skytrap affect me. That's interesting. I did not know that it did not affect... Oh, wait. It doesn't affect P uh, flying types, I don't think. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know that. And you used one Hyper Potion now. Okay, that's one down. That's not that bad. You're using on a tankier Pokemon, which is a little bit upsetting. I wish you used on a Pokemon that would die easier, so it wouldn't be that big of a problem. But right now, you're literally doing nothing because the Sky Drop won't do any damage to me. It's just a little bit... I didn't know that. It's freed. It does not affect the Tsunami. So, I didn't know that. That's actually really useful to know now in the future. And is it going to... Now, is, he, is she going to use another Hyper Potion on this Volby? Or is she going to just... Yes, yeah, she does. Okay, so now she's used two of the Hyper Potions that she has. She has one more remaining. I don't think that she's going to use that on the next Volby. That was a crit. That was great. I love that. Keep it up, Tsunami. But the next one, I don't think it's going to use. And I got the flinch off. Great. And um, so now the Volbeat's dead. It didn't use it like I said it wouldn't. I said it wouldn't. <laughs> Luxray. Um, not going to keep him out. I'm going to go out. Oh, wait, no. I, I said... That was not the move that I won. That's great right now. If you have Arena Trap, I'm going to cry. Okay, you don't. That's actually really helpful. Thank you. Yeah, but right now, I'm like literally right up to par against the gym leader. And he's roared. Are you going to send him back out, Lugia? Oh, okay. Well, I can now get out the um, Poison Powder, which is going to be really helpful. No, you avoid it. What are you going to tackle? Okay, I'm not complaining about that at all. Poison Powder? So this is not the ace, and I'm, I feel like right now I am perfectly on par, so I'm not over-leveled. Well, I'm not really under-leveled, except for Skyplan. But I'm happy with that. Um, no problem with that at all. I'm going to go for Double Hit, because Bubble Beam is going to do nothing. And Double Hit doesn't do much either, but... Hey, you know, he sent out Skyplan. If I swap out, he's just going to use Roar again. So, might as well just simply gain some experience with Skyplan. And at the same time, not have to deal with him just roaring everyone like he is doing right now. Thank you so much. 
You can swing out Hypno. Okay, that's a little bit worse for you, I'm guessing, because Hypno is actually power on my team. And try attack. Um, try attack hasn't gotten any burns or any status conditions this whole game. Oh, crit! Soft boiled. Are you kidding? Is this what you're gonna be doing? No, this is no. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. That's really annoying. Sacred sword. Um, it's gonna use it again. Okay, well, this is gonna be obnoxious. You're really just gonna keep soft boiling. I really wish instead of poison powder, I had toxic on Shaman because this is getting really annoying, obnoxious as well. Bug Buzz, how much damage is that gonna do? Eh, another soft boil. So that was up to full health. How many soft boils do you have? Is the PP like 10 or is the PP um, 5? I hope it's 5 because or else it's gonna get really obnoxious really quickly. Tackle. So is that like you have soft boil, tack uh, tackle, roar? What's your last move? That's what I'm a little bit worried about now. Is that last move? Could do a lot of damage. And roar, you're gonna send out tsunami, I'm gonna be sad. Uh I'll, I'll keep him out. Because Emerald Cat, I don't think he's faster. Is he? Oh he is faster. Okay. So now Luxray's done. And who's the last Pokemon going to be? Yeah, a lot of people get experience from that. Ooh, Tsunami's level 34, and look at those stat gains that he has. That they're, that's amazing. And Reed's level 35. Does he learn? No. He doesn't learn to move. A uh, Seismitoad. I don't have a grass type. I um don't I can't use a ground type. I might as well just stay out with um could stay out with Emerald Cat. Tsunami's not gonna be much help in this case. Reed's not gonna be that much. Sky plant? Eh, eh that'd be useful with the poison powder. Sleepy is yeah. I'm gonna stay out with the Emerald Cat, because even if he does have a water type then, it's gonna be not effective. This is my last Pokemon, but I'll never give up hope. Okay, well, I never said you did. Have to. Like, I never... Oh, Flash, you're gonna play this game. Uh, I don't like this game. I don't I don't like the uh, game of losing accuracy all the time. So now, I... I was, I was just debating with myself, should I go for the Ice Burn? But... I, hadn't, I didn't even see how much damage it did, and I get confused. Great. So, this is actually... Why? That, that, that's going to matter so much. Um, I'm actually really worried now. I had to swap out, because if he hits, that does like 46 damage, and then I hit myself, it's going to do a lot of damage. So, I'm going to swap out into Skyplant. It's a little risky, but Skyplant should be able to eat it up. Whatever he does, unless it's a fire move. Yeah, dynamic punch. Okay. I'm gonna go for actually I'm not gonna heal up because he he can take a hit very easily. Poison power. Durr. Don't get confused, please. You get confused! Stop it! Uh, well, luckily this doesn't do much damage to him because he has no attack stat. That's great. But, um, yeah. Can I just get the poison powder off? Because this is going to be a long game if you just keep the dynamic punch on every single Pokemon of mine. <sighs> and it does 36 damage to begin with. But Skyplant right now is my best option because of the tankiness that he has, as well as his low attack stat helps with the confusion. And he is now poisoned, which is great. This will start to help out tremendously. Uh, what, I, what should I use? Humble Beam's not going to do much. I'm going to go for double hit. Flash. Thank you so much. You're so helpful. You know that? Oh, I found out a confusion. Ooh, that's actually really good. Because next turn, I might be able to use Roar Time and win. I'm going to go for it. It's a little bit of a risk, but... Yeah, this is my best chance, because... Okay, go for it. If it does how much, uh, the amount of damage I think it's going to do, with Poison, it should KO. I'm just hoping now. Yes, good! Okay, Sky Plan! I take back everything you said about not being good before. 
you just saved me again in another gym. So, a clap for Skyplant. That was three claps, not one clap. I'm sorry. But, bring your opponent in battle is a new source of strength to me. Or being... Wait, what? I, I, I don't know what you said. You're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon and I are happy because for the first time in a while, we could fight with our full strength. This is an official League gym badge. I think it will look good on you. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. So now we have our sixth gym badge. We have two more, and then we have to go through the Elite Four. And I don't, ha I don't even have that many encounters. So I need to start gaining more Pokemon. This is actually getting a little bit nervous now, because if I lose anyone else, I'm going to be in a tough situation for the Four. Wow, hot stuff. With that many gym badges, Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. Also, as thanks for a Pokemon battle that made me very happy, I want you to have this TM. Acrobatics. Thank you for that. That's going to be a, a TM I never use. My present is to use acrobatics. The user doesn't have a hold item. Its power doubles. Uh, okay, whatever. By the way, when I flew over Twist Mountain on the way to Icarus City, Team Plasma, that's the name? Anyways, they were heading for the city. What kind of people are they? I don't know. But actually, I still have to go through the whole Team Plasma storyline. So it's not even that close to being over yet. Okay. But anyways, guys, I hope that you did enjoy the episode. Wait, no, I'm sorry. They say it is for understanding one another better. But what trainers really use battles for is to compete. And they hurt each other's Pokemon. Am I the only one who finds this terribly painful? Whatever. I'm going to talk to your Pokemon. I've been living with Pokemon since I was born. So it's easier for me to talk with them than with Pokemon. Or people. Because Pokemon never tell lies. Would you tell me what kind of trainer Fish is? Okay. Okay. Got it. So Fish was born in Nuvima Town, lives with Mom, and was given the Pokedex to start off a journey to see the world. Really, you're stating the obvious right now. Still, this Lugia trusts you for some reason. That's good. If every person in Pokemon cared about one another like you two do, I could watch over the future of people and Pokemon without having to liberate Pokemon people who just used them. Genesis is using Team Plasma to search for some special stones. The Light Stone and the Dark Stone. These stones hold the essence of two legendary Pokemon. It is said that when they lost their physical form, they fell into a slumber and were transformed. Now, they wait for the hero's arrival. I shall resurrect a legendary dragon type Pokemon from one of these stones and become its friend. That will show the world that I am the new hero. Everyone will follow what I say. And he shakes his head. My vision is to change the world without using force. Trying to change the world by force will just make others resist. If people resist, the ones that will be hurt are the innocent Pokemon, used by foolish trainers. You understand. Pokemon are not just tools for people to use. As a result, Pokemon and trainers who care about one another, like you and your Pokemon, will be separated. And that does break my heart a little. And he just walks off. Well, I was not expecting that cutscene to happen there. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, please hit the like button. If you like my content in general, please do hit the subscribe button. And I hope that you all have a great day. And I hope that you all enjoy this video. Have a great day.